Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Denny and this is my little YouTube channel, Rats in the Reticles, where it's all things air gun and hunting pest species here in England. Yeah, I say England because the laws are different in Scotland and Wales. So put the kettle on, pause the video and get your brew or your coffee and uh, come back because um, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for, for quite a while. I've been giving a lot of thought on this video. Um, and it is arguably um, a controversial topic <laughs> when it comes to your air gun collection. How many is too many air guns? Um, I have a very small circle of friends and everybody that I know owns no more than two or three air guns. I know people that own one air gun. Um, my brother is an air gun at all, so it, well, say he's, he's not. He's not. A, he's got two air guns. Um, he's not as passionate about it as me, but. Um, I think as I've always been two air guns. I've always had two, well, at least one or two air guns. Um, I actually do own three. I've got an old Springer. I've got an old Air Arms TX200, I think it is. I think it's knocking on like 30 years old, the side lever one, but my nephew's got that at the moment. Um, but as, as time's going on, I'm thinking... I mean, I own two. I've got, I've got the ATT Vixen, and I've got the Day State Huntsman Reverse Safari. And as time's going on, and obviously, new air guns are getting released all the time. Um, it's hard to, to think. Yeah, I'm content with two. Now. I think with this subject, is. It all depends on the air gunner and and what they're using it for, what they're using their guns for. Uh, I think for someone who has um, multiple permissions for different types of pest species, um, I think that they would probably have a better, so a big, a bigger selection of guns, and could possibly have FAC, which is if you don't know what FAC is, it's a, a firearm certificate. is a It's a permit here in England, um, where you have to meet a certain criteria to own a high-powered air rifle. So, me myself, I don't have any permissions, so. I think it's pointless me having a bigger selection of air guns than, than I've currently got to. I would love to, there's there's three or four, four air guns out now at the moment where I would love to buy. I'm not in a position to buy them anyway. I only work for the NHS. I'm not, I'm not loaded or anything. Um, but I just thought, how many is too many? You know, I've seen, I've, I've been on forums where I've seen people um, with like, I think like eight air guns and I'm like, for one, they must have more money than cents and they must have big permissions uh, to obviously each air gun for each permission um, and so on and so forth, but. I just thought to come on and have a quick little chat about how many is too many, you know. I know, I know a guy that actually collects air guns, and he's got a, he's got, he's got air guns knocking on like eighty years old, you know, fantastic. Some of the first air guns ever made, um, and I just think. I'm getting to the point now where I'm getting itchy and, and, and I want another air gun. I know straight away I know exactly what gun I would go for, 100%. I 
um, it will be a tough decision between the HW100, which I love, but I would want to get that grey laminate one will come out about four months ago, the limited edition one. I think that is just a fantastic looking rifle and obviously it's a HW100. We all know what they're about. But I also like the British manufacturers. I love the Air Arms S510 Sporter, the Ultimate Sporter. I know um, uh, Corbett Hunter uses one. Sublime, right? It's a laser accurate 177. I love them. So it'd probably be a, 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 a toss up between them two guns, um, which both are around about a thousand quid. Um, I'm not a big fan of buying used air rifles because um, you just don't know who's had it. And I don't like the thought of someone who's had had an air rifle and has tinkered with it. Um, I always try and buy brand new. So, uh, obviously I'd like to buy, I'd love to buy an egg gun leshy. I absolutely love them guns. I think they're just they're, they're so good. But I'm not 100% whether you'd have to be FAC to own a gun less you because they're so easy to, to adjust the power. Um, I love the Brocock Ghost. Um, I love that Epic too. I think that looks fantastic. I think all the guns coming out of um, Czechoslovakia, I would have any of them. The Calibre gun. Um, the 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 um oh it's the other one the the crate I think that's a fantastic rifle um and I think most of them will come out of uh, the Czech Republic all, all have CZ barrels as well which uh, if you know anything about air guns CZ barrels are pff, well they're called hammer forged and they're just they're just brilliant um. So yeah, I just thought to come on make a quick little video just just to get your thoughts on, um, how many is too many air guns? You know, everyone has, you know, everyone's in different financial positions and can go out and just buy an air gun when they see it and they like it and that's fantastic. Fair play to them people that can do that. I would love to do that, like, but, um. Let me know if you're thinking if you're thinking about purchasing your next air rifle and what it's going to be um, and what's persuaded you to buy, to buy that air rifle um, because if you're anything like me I research the hell out of the rifle first um, I try and stay away from the reviews on YouTube I'll look at the genuine ones and kind of like make my own decision whether it is a genuine review or not um, but the forums are good and also the best way is just go and have a go on yourself. Um, but yeah, I am thinking of uh, wanting to add another to add another air rifle. It, you might think it's a bit overkill because I, I, I just shoot in my back garden, all the pest species in my back garden, but I am wanting to add another rifle to my to my collection uh, when I'm in the financial position to do that. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what what uh, what you think, and uh, you might be one one man one gun. Some men are like that, and women as well. You know, girls shoot as well. Uh, can't leave the women out. Um. So yeah, just uh, I just thought to come on and make this quick quick little video to talk about it uh, today, and um, let me know in the comments what you think, and. Um, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Um, and get involved in the comments as to uh, your opinions on what you think about owning multiple guns or just one gun. So um, hit me up on Instagram as well. I am also on Instagram. It rats in the reticles that I am contactable on there as well. So um, if anyone wants to reach out to me on there, if you don't want to reach out in the comments, I am on Instagram also as well. So uh, until next time, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. I think it's going to be the hottest day of the year in the UK. 
today, uh, 26, 27 degrees. It's going to be today in Liverpool. So uh, get your sun cream on. And if you're like me and you're going bald, make sure you put some on your head. <laughs> so uh, take care, everyone. Shoot safe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.